Hello, this is Claudia from Harmade.es and in this video I want to show you how I do my keyword research. So if you want to learn all about SEO for images, I have a free course which you can join. You will have the link down in this video. But this video is all about searching for the right keywords and seeing how many people search for them and deciding which ones you want to rank for. So this is the product I just created. It's a couple of patterns. It's the same pattern with a light and dark background and I'm going to be selling it on Etsy. So I will do my research on Etsy, but you can follow the same process on YouTube and also on Google, depending on where you prefer to do your SEO search. So this is the product, as I was saying, these are the, the files that I will use to promote the product. So this will be the main image. And then I did some mock-up showing how you can use these seamless patterns. Then I will explain that if you are a scrapbooker, you can get them as 12 by 12 inch papers. And then I will explain it also includes the PNG with a transparent background. So these are the images and now I need to do some research about keywords. And I'm now here on my page on Notion, but you can do this in any planner you want or in a just simple text um, file. So it doesn't matter. But as you can see, I've done this several times. So I already have some words, some keywords for general seamless patterns and scrapbook papers, but I want to do this research for the exact type, type of pattern, which is a watercolor sunflower. So in order to do it, I will go to Chrome and I will use this extension called Keywords Everywhere. It's super cheap. I mean, it's not free, but you pay, I think it was $10 or something like this for 100,000 credits. And I've been using it for several months and I still have all those credits. So all you have to do is turn it off when you are not using it. That way it's not counting every search you do. But yeah, that's it. So now I will turn it on and then I will go to Etsy and I'll start researching there. So what I will do is I will start typing here what I'm looking for and the results will give me these um, tips here. So this information, which is what I'm interested in. So I'm going to start typing watercolor sunflower and as I write, I see how Etsy suggests other words. So for now, I'm happy with the result I got and I will take a screenshot of this and I'll continue. So what if I search watercolor sunflower? So in this case, there are not many results. So I will go for sunflower. And then I will see all the results that it gives and directly do a screenshot of this. And as I don't see clip art or pattern or digital paper, I will continue with these words. So let's see clip art. Okay, here we have it. And then pattern. Okay. And I'm only taking screenshots of what I'm interested in. So in this case, vinyl, it, it has nothing to do with, with what I'm doing. This result has no information, so I don't need it. Crochet, not about what I'm doing and watercolor has no information. So that's why I didn't took the screenshot. So I continue doing this. There's no information about seamless pattern. What about digital? Okay, not a lot, not many results about um, digital, but I'll take it too. So I think that's enough. Um, now I can close this and I'll bring here all the screenshots I took. So 
think it's until this one, yeah. And I simply drag them here on Notion, but sometimes like when I'm recording, you can only see one screen, but most of the time I'm working with two screens. So probably I will have these on my left screen and then these open on the right screen and I will be working with the two screens. But for the purposes of this video, I will keep it like this. So Notion, it's um, taking its time to load the images, but here we have them. Now what I will do is I will translate this information in text. So for example, I, like the first one we see is that there are 90 searches per month for the sunflower digital paper. I don't need the sunflower digital alone because it has only 70 per month and it's almost the same. So once this is done, I will simply delete it and go for the next one. So some flower pattern, this has 6,600 each month. So some flower pattern. And again, I will delete it. So I'll continue doing this for each one of the results that I think they are interesting. Okay, so these are the words I came up with. Now I will uh, put them in a sentence form so that I can easily copy and paste when I'm uploading it to Etsy. So, for example, I will, I will first select the ones that are exactly related to patterns uh, not this one maybe this one and I think that's all then I will do another sentence and I'm separating them with commas um, because this, when you upload it to Etsy, it counts like a new word. So it's the best way to do it. And usually I add one at the end. That way I can copy and continue with any other list I have. So now about the clip art, sunflower. Well, simply I will copy and paste it. It's mostly the same, but just in case, um, PNG, um, the same one. And keep in mind that this, if you are uploading it to Etsy, there is a limit in the length of the keywords. So for example, I'm sure this one will not, like will be too long. But I still keep it because if I want to upload it to Creative Market or to my own website or even to Pinterest or other platforms, it's interesting to have these long keywords. So this one too and this one would be the last one. Okay, so now I have my lists and I can combine these ones with the ones I already had here about patterns here. So all I need to do now is go to Etsy and use this keyword and decide. So usually what I do, sorry, I opened this by mistake. So usually what I do is I go to Etsy and I say, okay, which one of those has lots of searches? So I see that the clip art one, the decor one, the PNG and this one. So these are the top searches. Um, I will definitely add one of them at the beginning of the title and also use it on the description. But if I'm uploading multiple things that are similar, so with watercolors and flowers, I will be playing around and combining some of the lower searches. So in this case, some flower pattern is very important that I put it right at the beginning more than clip art because it's a pattern, it's not a clip art. 
Um, but yeah, that's what I would do. So this is the system that I follow and this is for real. I'm going to upload this file to Etsy right now. So I hope this was helpful. Remember, if you want to continue learning like the next steps, what to do um, to make your images SEO friendly, you can join my free course. I will leave you the link below this video and feel free to leave me a comment. If you like this video, please subscribe and ring the bell so that it will let you know every time I post a new video. So I'll see you around.